Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader Guide. Cool, Seneschal Abelard Versarian build, the main guy behind our rogue trader. This build was made for unfair, so if it works on unfair, it will work on all other difficulties as well. This is a full build for Abelard from level 1 to level 16, or better to say, for Prologue and Act 1. Let's not waste time, let's go. <laughs> So the very first feature, once you get Abelard, would be his charge. You charge at opponents and deal damage. The next thing that you want to take would be athletics on level 2. On level 3, you get endure, so you can soak up a bit more damage with Abelard. On level 4, you receive your ulti, Daring Breach, one of the best ultis in the game. You receive extra action and movement points to whack enemies by your will. Also, you will receive to pick the very first talent, and the very first talent that you wanna pick would be Tickskin. What is Tickskin? It gives additional parry to Abelard, so he doesn't receive damage, plus it gives deflection, so you can mitigate some damage output from enemies. Extremely good talent for the first talent. On the next level, we're gonna get Hardened Scars as the talent. In other words, once you use Endure to stoke up damage, you're gonna get deflection as well. Okay, so... The higher the deflection, the more damage you can soak up as a tank. Very important. For characteristic pick, we're gonna take toughness. And now it's time to pick an ability for Abelard, and that would be Sworn Enemy. You deal more damage to those that you make sworn enemies in combat. Very good ability on Abelard. You are a tank, you wanna soak up as much as you can, but you want some damage output as well. Well, this is it. Skill checks, we're gonna take Athletics, and always Athletics whenever it's available on Abelard. On the next level, we're gonna take Toughness for Characteristic, and for the Talent, we're gonna get Combat Master. Combat Master will remove melee superiority on Abelard, or better to say, once Abelard gets surrounded by enemies, they will not have superiority against him. You want him as a tank, yeah. On the next level, for the skill check, you will take Carouse. And for the talent, we're gonna get Invigorated Hatred. Now, why do we take Invigorated hate Hatred? You will be close by enemies, you will make a sworn enemy out of them. And this is an upgrade for the sworn enemy, so you get even bulkier for the enemy that you sworn. Okay, so basically this is the upgrade for the sworn enemy. The next one would be ulti upgrade and we're gonna take Daring Breach 3. Now why do we take it? It's very simple, because of additional parry and deflection of course. The higher parry and deflection are, the tankier Abelard is. For the next ability we're gonna take Epicenter of Slaughter. Every time you get whacked for the next turn you receive additional health, or better to say additional wounds. For the characteristic on the same level, we're gonna take Weapon Skill. And for the last ability on Abelard, we're gonna take a Taunting Scream. You want your main tank to taunt enemies, so they go for him and he makes a priority target out of himself. For additional talent, or better to say talent 2, we're gonna take Grenadier. Grenade for free. Okay, very good to have on every single character, as well as Abelard. On the next level, for characteristics, we're gonna take Strength, because we want to hurt more. And for the skills, we're gonna take Carouse again. And now, it's time to take Heavy Armor Proficiency on Abelard and equip Heavy Armor on him, because Heavy Armors provide huge deflection and huge armor percentage, and it is the only way to play Abelard efficiently on unfair difficulty, as well as all other difficulties. For the skill checks, we're gonna take Medica this time for some better healings with medkits. On the next level, we're gonna take weapon skill so that we hit more often with melee. And of course, when we're level 15, we're gonna take it will not die and raise wounds, or better to say, raise health by a lot. For the final ulti upgrade, we're gonna take Daring Breach upgrade 1. So we got 3 and 1. 
This one is very simple, it gives additional movement points, so you can switch from enemy to enemy and whack them with your weapons. Now, what is the weapon of choice in Prologue and Act 1 on Abelard? The best one to use by far would be a greatsword. You're gonna wear medium armor until you find a heavy armor, and that's gonna be at the end of Act 1. If by some chance you want to use a ranged weapon, it's best to use something big and bulky, like a shotgun, for huge AoE damage in your second weapon slot. What's the type of armor, trinkets and all other items and gear that you can get? You want to take trinkets that are gonna reduce charge by one action point, that will enhance his armor, his parry, those are the stats that you want to check out, okay? Or those that enhance his abilities, like Taunting Scream, or endure and it's very simple with Abelard from then and onwards this is Abelard that wants to become a vanguard so pure tank omega tank okay now let's check all of his skills and how to use them in prologue and act one Abelard's origin will give him brace for impact Brace for impact is best used when you have a lot of allies around you, you wake this and then they all soak up damage as well as Abelard and of course it provides deflection. When enemies are close by, okay, like on 5-6 tiles away from you and you are gonna about to get hit on the next turn, you wanna use Brace for impact. That's his origin ability, very good ability. Always. You will always use charge before a classic basic melee weapon attack. So your point is to charge first and then attack, not the other way around. Because by doing it the other way around, you can provoke attacks of opportunity and unnecessary hits on Abelard. Do not forget to spam Endure on every turn, because it soaks up damage. You want always Endure on Abelard from turn to turn as long as the combat lasts. Daring Breach is one of the best ultis in a game, do not hesitate to whack Daring Breach the moment you have it on and always, always keep the Daring Breach for Abelard and Heinrichs cause they can hurt like crazy with Daring Breach. Again, Sworn Enemy that we upgraded through talents as well will help you tremendously in combat so you wanna combine Endure and Sworn Enemy, that's two action points, and then you have Boots to reduce action points from charge, that's three action points in total, and one action point left for uh, a classic melee attack. So basically this is your combo, okay? Taunting Scream is utility, and for later on when you become a Vanguard, it's a preparation for Vanguard, but these three spells, you can always use them, and Brace for Impact is zero action points, which means it's free. That would be it for Abelard. The next video will be for Act 2 and 3 for Abelard, and that's gonna cover the entire Vanguard progress. Okay, all 20 Vanguard levels. Once he becomes a Vanguard, of that is. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.